I woke up, it was around 8.30 in the morning, opened my curtains, and then it's orange. And it's like, am I dreaming? What is happening? No? Why it's orange? El humo era lo que más se sentía porque aparte de que lo sentía uno en los ojos, en la garganta y luego estar apurados tratando de piscar más rápido. When you live in California, you know that you live in a land of extremes. People are fleeing flames as a result of fossil fuel companies greed. It's just so infuriating. For the first time ever, scientists have linked wildfires in the western United States with global warming pollution from specific companies. Algunas de las preguntas que hicimos es o que queríamos responder es ¿qué tan responsables son muchas de las compañías que producen combustibles fósiles en estos incendios que estamos teniendo en el oeste de los Estados Unidos y de Canadá? Y queríamos responder esta pregunta porque alguien tiene que ser responsable por pagar al menos parte de los daños, ¿no? We found that emissions traced back to the world's largest fossil fuel producers are responsible for the burning of about 20 million acres of forested land across Western North America since the mid 80s. We also found that those emissions from the fossil fuel companies are tied to about half of the drying trend that we've experienced over the last hundred years or so. Esos son números increíbles, ¿no? Especialmente cuando contamos los daños, la gente que ha muerto, las estructuras que se han quemado, además de todos los bosques, por supuesto, y las especies de animales, de flora, de fauna que existen en estas regiones, y la cantidad de humo que se ha generado que ha afectado a millones y millones de personas. The entities that can really afford to pay the true cost of wildfires are the fossil fuel companies that have worsened the situation. The city of Oakland is suing for damages from fossil fuel companies. They're one of many public entities, counties, cities across the United States that are starting to ask for some accountability. When communities file those complaints against fossil fuel companies, they have to back up their claims that there's some link between those companies' actions and what they're seeing on the ground. So when we have a study that connects that very directly and says fossil fuel companies are responsible for a certain percentage of what you're seeing on the ground, that's very powerful. When it comes to dealing with the consequences of wildfire, we know that people with low incomes and people in disadvantaged communities are disproportionately affected. Some people work outdoors, and that means those folks are exposed to an incredible amount of risk. And there's very little protections for those workers. Some of the things that I have been hearing from communities is <laughs> this hunger for change, you know? We have a history of things being done in a certain way that has kept some of these communities without enough opportunities to provide even for their own families in many cases. And they want to see things different. Más que nada un mensaje a las personas como yo que trabajan en, en los campos, exigir sus derechos que uh, puedan a expresarse, que no sientan el temor de decir uh, si en el lugar donde trabajan hay injusticias. Yo creo que aquí vamos a seguir luchando para, para al final uh, que sea un trabajo más justo para nosotros.